as somebody who has lived life as i guess like an atheist or like a buddhist but i never i was never really religious i've seen what happens when you don't believe in god i have suffered repercussions of not believing in allah and yang membuat leena yakin untuk masuk islam karena sebelumnya ia telah banyak melakukan riset tentang islam dan alquran sebagai seorang ateis leena harus mencari bukti keberadaan tuhan itu ada karena seorang ateis berpendapat bahwa seseorang hanya boleh percaya pada hal-hal yang buktinya kuat dan dapat diandalkan. Setelah melakukan riset dan menemukan bukti bahwa Tuhan itu ada, dengan kekuasaan Tuhan yang begitu banyak tertulis di dalam Al-Quran dan sejalan dengan sains, ia merasa dirinya bodoh jika tidak mengakui hal tersebut. Growing up atheist, born into a Buddhist family, here's why I chose to be Muslim. I don't like losing. I've always been a competitive person, whether it's in sports, gaming, in school, I want to win. But I want to win in a very ethical way where it doesn't harm other people or affect them. So a few years ago, I wanted to test this theory out, okay? As an atheist, I didn't believe in anything, maybe reincarnation. But anyways, I wanted to test this theory out. If I believed in God, and this is before I became a Muslim, this is just like me getting in touch with like a higher power. I didn't know which religion was best suited for me. I decided to just believe in God. So this is what I came up with. If I believe in God, right? And let's say after all of this, he doesn't exist, astaghfirullah, and everything is just black and static after, then okay, the atheists were right. But nobody's gonna be conscious to even brag about how right they were. But if I don't believe in God and the afterlife exists, then I'm cooked. I'm gonna be staring at all the Muslims and all the God believers and be staring at y'all from the outside like, hey, let me in. And I'm, I'm just cooked. I'm gonna look stupid. Setelah masuk Islam, Leena menyadari bahwa hidupnya sebelum masuk Islam sangat menderita karena ia dikelilingi oleh hal-hal negatif dan orang-orang hanya memanfaatkannya saja jika ada kepentingan saja. As somebody who has lived life as I guess like an atheist, or like a Buddhist, but I never, I was never really religious. I've seen what happens when you don't believe in God. I have suffered repercussions of not believing in Allah. And I was very blessed to receive things as a non-believer. But as you may know, when Allah gives you things in this life and there's no barakah in it, we'll take it away and you will suffer. And that's what happened, I suffered. There was a time in my life when I was young and I wanted to have like a thriving career and make a lot of money and after like a couple months of hard work, I got that what came with it, what I didn't expect was to have all these like negative energies coming towards me like I wasn't surrounded by like any good people everybody wanted to use me if they couldn't get like something out of me they would just gossip or honestly it even got to the point where I was almost set up Leena juga kagum melihat keimanan orang Palestina yang begitu kuat di saat kondisi yang semakin buruk mereka tetap melaksanakan sholat dan berdoa kepada Allah mereka kehilangan tempat tinggal keluarga tidak ada air bersih dan tidak ada makanan tetapi mereka tetap kuat dan tersenyum and it wasn't really until like seeing you know the kids and stuff in Palestine that I thought to myself like why why am I crying why am I being ungrateful for my life why am I not waking up and trying to make the most out of each and every day? There are literal kids trapped under rubble, losing family members, losing limbs, you know, unalive. And yet they still have a smile on their face. And I'm over here crying about, you know, that people hurt me. Um, I hurt myself. When I really look at the bigger picture, my problems are not that big. It's not that deep. I should be grateful for the pain that I went through so that I can use that, start a business or something, or better myself, get back in the gym. People across the world, they don't even have the luxury to do that if they wanted to. But yeah, after months of just seeing and witnessing all the horrors, I just, I got really curious and I was like, how are they so strong? There were kids in the ER with no fresh water, no paper towels, no clean cloth, but yet they wake up to pray. A smile. Leena mengatakan bahwa ia tidak pernah merasakan kebebasan saat ini sampai ia menjadi seorang muslim. 
Lina lebih menikmati hidup dan lebih banyak bersyukur, dan ia juga menjaga dirinya dari hal-hal yang tidak penting, serta energi negatif dalam menjalani kehidupannya. Lina juga paham bahwa hidup tidak untuk mengejar urusan dunia saja, tapi juga mengejar akhirat. I personally have never felt more free until I became a Muslim, and let me tell you why. Before I was a Muslim, I felt like I didn't deserve to be happy. I felt like I didn't deserve rest. My mind was always constantly thinking, like I was always thinking about how to make more money, how to pay my bills, you know, how to keep up with all these ungodly desires of the world, how to buy the most expensive shit. And the times, the very short amount of times where I actually had a chance to relax, I felt guilty. Like, why am I on vacation? I'm supposed to enjoy the sun, the beach, and I feel guilty for not working. Y'all don't think that's a prison living like that? And I know a lot of people feel me on that one, like whether you have a religion or not. Society, Western society has just made it so unbearable to live these days. We were not meant to chase money. We were not meant to chase the luxuries. And the craziest thing is the more we chase these things, we're killing our bodies. We're exhausting our body's natural resources. Whether you believe in a creator or not, our bodies have functions for a reason. And we're using it to chase the things that don't actually matter. That's why we see a lot of celebrities and a lot of successful people, they are so unhappy with themselves. You gotta ask yourself, why? How can a person who's chased their dreams and succeeded, why do they still feel unhappy? Because none of this material shit matters. It doesn't. Listen, and as for me, I could be the most talented artist ever. You know, I can continue to draw. But if I'm not free in my mind, in my soul, am I really free? Because ever since I became a Muslim, I got to just enjoy the things that we were meant to enjoy. Masya Allah, pelajaran yang dapat kita ambil dari Leena, yaitu selalu bersyukur bahwa bersyukur bukanlah hal yang mudah untuk dilakukan. Sebab, Banyak sekali manusia yang diberikan kenikmatan, mereka seringkali lalai. Apalagi pada saat diberikan ujian dengan kesusahan, pastinya susah sekali untuk bersyukur. Padahal, bersyukur adalah salah satu kunci untuk hidup bahagia. Maka jika seseorang dapat mensyukuri nikmat yang Allah tetapkan untuknya, pastinya mereka akan menjalani kehidupan ini dengan lebih tenang, bahagia, tanpa adanya rasa kekhawatiran yang berlebihan. Seperti yang dialami oleh Leena setelah masuk Islam, ia lebih bahagia dan tidak lagi merasakan kegelisahan, kekhawatiran yang berlebihan dalam hidupnya sekarang.